what's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding the Tampa Bay Rays on the Rays Game and Sports channel. We're rebuilding my favorite team and it's make or break time. Last episode, we got Carlos Gonzalez, basically the power hitting right fielder that used to be on the Colorado Rockies and is officially signed with your boy. For 13 million dollars in just one year. Yay. There goes our budget. But anyway, I said last episode that I was going to trade Evan Longoria for somebody. And this injury situation thing kept popping up. So, instead I'm going to update the block. Basically add anybody. Right now, statistically, we got the best starting pitching in baseball. So let's... Let's just fix everything that we're not the best at. So relief pitching, all all of this. And if I do say so myself, we look like we got a top contending team. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like sim a little bit, and hopefully, this thing, hopefully that this thing, will fix itself. Let's see. Let's see if it does. It fixed itself. Let's go. Alright, I'll come back when I do find a deal for Longo. There's two Matt Duffy's in the major leagues. And they're both third basemen. There's a Matt Duffy for the Giants. And there's a Matt Duffy. I'm thinking, the, yeah, the Astros. What is this? What was that? Alright, whatever. Let's get back to trying to find a deal for our boy Longo. All right, we found one. Todd Frazier, Quintana, and this random, <laughs> this random relief pitcher from the White Sox. So, goodbye, Longo. It's been fun, but you just weren't performing. So we gotta cut you. But now we got Todd. I'm thinking, what's his name? The Mayor, I think. But anyway, we got Todd Frazier. So, that should be pretty good for right now. Yeah, that seems fine. And now we got Quintana down there. This is going to be a good year. I'm hoping. Because this is the last year. So, if we don't do good, another challenge has to be done. And I don't want to do a challenge. So, yeah. Four home runs, though. Hold up. Four home runs for Gonzalez. All right. I'll be back at the first year player draft. All right, it's the first year player draft, 2018. Honestly, this really doesn't mean anything to us because this is our last year as the general manager of the Tampa Bay Rays, but we might as well kind of give the next general manager, quote unquote, the next general man, a um, you know, pretty nice, you know, base. You feel me? I'm gonna kill us. Anyway, um. So yeah, we're giving them we're giving the next dude a nice base, and he better be grateful. If he's not grateful, we might have to shank him. Because if he's not grateful, that's that's just mean. That's just flat out mean. But I do have one trade in mind. I want to get rid of Smiley. Because he hasn't been really performing. Basically, at all. And we do have the prospect to do it with an Abe. So, I'm thinking we're going to be getting somebody pretty nice. Maybe like a Chris Sale. Even though their injury situation's messing up. Maybe like someone like this. But I'm going to have to figure it out because his injury situation is literally pissing me off. So, I'll be right back once I figure this out. I figured this out. I figured it all out. And I think we want to get Garrett Richards. And... I, was, I wanted Albert Pujols, but $23 million for a 68 overall. No, that's just... That's actually dumb. Um, Definitely not Mike Trout. This is what I'm thinking. Maybe we give them, like, not too good... Of a guy. 
So, maybe Nishek. No, we can't give him that. I want to give him, like, not that good of a player. Maybe, like, this Betts guy. Yeah, Betts. Alright, perfect. So we don't have to get rid of our top prospect right now. So we got Richards. He's good. So let's see how long this lasts. And then we'll go from there. Let me check this real quick. Garrett Whitley for the catcher. Nah, mm -mm, we're not going with that. All right, let's send the season. And I'll come back if we decide to make another deal or not. So I'll be right back. All right, there's a problem and we need some help fast. So we're calling in basically all of the top prospects. All right, all these prospects. Boom. Boom. All of them. So we got to trade all these prospects for somebody insanely good. That is kind of under budget. Because if we don't, it's not going to be looking good for us. And we're going to have to do a challenge. That means that we'd have to... Well, I, mm -mm, that's, that's not something I want to do. Anthony Rizzo. We're getting Anthony. Now we got Rizzo. And Rizzo... Is actually not leading the league in anything. So we got to sim some more and hope that he does better. And I'm really not even going to be making that many more deals. So I'm basically going to be going to the end. Oh my gosh, down to the wire. We're four games beyond the Red Sox. So the only way that we're going to be able to get in... Oh, we already clinched a spot. We're on top of the wild card. We already clinched the two spots. So we're in the wild card now against the Royals. But first, we got to see how well everybody did. So pitching, Archer actually had a pretty good year. Sanchez didn't have that good of a year. Garrett Richards had a phenomenal year. Quintana did all right. And Colin May didn't have that good of a year, but he wasn't really where we were the entire year. Dickerson had a good year. Martin didn't have that good of a year. Rizzo, though, did insane. Same with Gonzalez. Ramos always gets above 20 homers. Todd Frazier did good. Marte did good. Forsyth did good. And Casey Gillespie did good, even though we really didn't have him either up there. So, I mean, I want to play this game. And it's not even against the Roy. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. It's against the Royals. So, Archer against Cobb. I'm thinking for this good of a game we gotta send out our main man Richards I can't believe we've at least got six make that eight second deck oh my god and when it came down to it we could not finish it off come on <laughs> we scored five runs in the bottom of the ninth, and we still couldn't do it. All right. Well, that's another challenge that we have to do. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm pissed. And I'll see you guys later.